Wait, do we have the coat? Frames. Imagine you eating your sausage there. <laughs> And look at what is in front of my dream house. I mean, I don't even have a yard, but we're gonna own this house. Hey everyone, I am just popping in at the beginning of the video just to kind of introduce it, I guess. This video was originally meant to be like a couple days throughout the week and then have a little bit of like the highlight from Parade of Homes. I'd never been before, so I figured I would have like a little bit to share, but um, not a, like enough to make a whole video out of it. I was so wrong. I loved every single second of it. If you guys have never been to Parade of Homes, it is an experience and it is so magical and so amazing. Me and Sebastian love driving around, looking at houses and like big beautiful houses and just all over. Even when we travel, we like doing that. We love doing it in San Francisco and New York and just all of our favorite places. So to be able to go inside, I knew I was gonna love, but I didn't think that I would like vlog a lot <laughs> and i'm so happy i did i know that this video might not be for everyone if you don't enjoy which i don't understand but if you don't enjoy you know looking at houses or stuff like this like it might just not interest you and that's totally fine but for those of you that are house junkies like me and love taking a peek and maybe aren't able to go to parade of homes this year yeah because i've never even i've never been so i didn't really know what i was missing out on but these tickets were actually gifted to us by our friends Gigi and eric i know i explained that in the video but they let us um, have their tickets one night and it was so fun and we're forever thankful for them because it was just the best date night ever. So that's what this video ended up being. It's just like a whole jumble of all of the houses and you guys let me know what's your favorite house down in the comments below. I have my personal favorite, but you guys will just have to wait and see. So subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you here for the next video and give it a thumbs up if you love Parade of Homes. So enjoy the video and I'll see you in my next one. Somebody like you when you're 23. We're getting all masked up. We got some new masks from Costco actually. Oh my god, I can never do it with my glasses on. It looks sick. <laughs> I guess I don't really know why I got ready. Oh, that sucks, yeah. I know, it's okay. Okay, our first house. Wait, do we have the coats? Yeah, they're on our text messages. This is first house and I'm really excited. Now there wasn't too much to show for this first house. It was really beautifully decorated and we did have fun pretending in the nursery. So I did want to highlight that. Um, but yeah, nothing too much. And I think it was just our first house we were getting used to looking around, filming everything. The real reason we came. <laughs> did you have chocolate? Yes. Oh, and that's the last one you've got to be kidding me. There's like a hundred bucks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now house number two was beautiful and grand and big as you guys can see um, but it felt a little bit colder for me and Sebastian there was a lot of marble and dark wood running through which is pretty but not our favorite look but it was still fun to see everything that they incorporated into this house they had a beautiful pool I loved this little corner seating area you guys will see they had an elevator like they had everything and it was really cool to see for our second house we were just blown away by how massive and big it was. Nice little elevator. I'm kind of scared of these steps. I know. I'm not scared you're going to drop your camera. Please don't drop it. Be careful. But I will say the bedrooms weren't anything like too special. I know I'm saying this as I live in like... <laughs> A small little townhouse but when you're in these places it's funny how like snooty you become um, but it was really pretty like I said the entire house was beautiful there wasn't anything that we would like die for um, but it was so fun to see all of the different designers and looks and this is just a peek into one of the bathrooms we loved and um, one of the bedrooms
and then we made our way downstairs, which all of the houses had the coolest basements. The basements were our favorite parts. So you could see this huge basement, a lot of open space, which we loved. There was a cute little gym area, which we were really excited about. It's really cool to see those in houses. This is so oh, cute. Yeah. Look at, no, come in here. Oh, yeah. Imagine my filming, what, what oh, I wore. Where I sit in the day. <laughs> where I sit in the day. <laughs> oh my gosh, cool. That's, that's sick. That's my jacuzzi, and that's my pool. Oh. And then I go get dry right there, and oh, that's a bonfire. That is so cool. And then you play basketball. Crazy how the guy said that this one isn't the best. There's another one that's better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. And I had to send my mom a video of this bedroom because she always jokes that we're gonna have triplets. And so I thought that that was like a perfect bedroom for kids. This is the same house with three kitchens. <laughs> so this is our- <laughs> Girl, did I imagine you eating your sausage there? <laughs> <laughs> this is their third kitchen. Isn't that crazy? This is like, this is like a nice kitchen anywhere else. Yeah, and it's in their basement. This, this, house, theater. <gasps> this house keeps getting better. Look at how cute. So we got a theater room. And this is like for all you golf fans. That is crazy to me. Here's a better look at the outside. We are like in love with this one actually. They have a little like putt putt. Thing over there, they have their own stream. <laughs> basketball court, did you see the basketball court, baby? Oh yeah. Pool, gosh, I can just like imagine. <gasps> they need help, there's nothing in there. I need to move it. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you guys could hear us, but when we were inside, they had four kitchens. <laughs> four. Um, but yeah, this one has been really, really cool. And the guy said this isn't even the best one, so. We're going on to bigger and better, and if you're able to do this, it's so fun just to like dream up. And me and Sasha love doing this on a daily basis, but being able to go inside is crazy. We just got to house number three, and I'm not ready. This one looks so cute. Oh my god. I wish there was one that would take out the trash. You guys, Sebastian oh hates doing yard work. And look at what is in front of my dream house. I mean, I don't even have a yard, but... I, I know, but yeah, wow. you're not a fan of it. Oh boy, this house seemed like mine and Sebastian's house the second we walked in. It was decorated just how we would decorate it. We love like the blacks and the whites and the golds running through. And look at this bathroom. You guys know there's no couple on earth that loves a good old mirror like me and Sebastian. And so, of course, this was our first stop, which we loved. And I loved the vanity and this tub is massive. Again, with that black marble running through, it was just a really pretty contrast. And to still have the white marble on the counter, I thought was really cute. And the shower was gorgeous. All of like the little decor and the pops of life in there, I thought was really elegant and beautiful and just like realistic. <gasps> Look at the cheetah carpet. <laughs> yeah, this is the kind of your stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty. Oh my gosh, they have my jacket. Just kidding. What is this? It's like for jewelry and watches and underwear. Oh. You know what I mean? I love that centerpiece. Yeah, I like closets that have. The it's in the freaking. I would not want to do laundry in my closet. Kind of. I mean, it is kind of. It's kind of nice to be able to fold it and put it right here. No, I'm changing my mind. Too, yeah. You, You're you know right I mean? here. Like, yeah, like, yeah. Look at that little ladder. That's I really loved how each room was decorated. Again, it was very homey, um, but also just elevated and something that we totally could see ourselves in. And so we filmed a lot of the decor just because that was a huge inspiration for us moving forward. And so to have this is really helpful. And just all of the accent walls I thought were really cool and the colors that this designer chose were amazing. This is 
This is really good. This is like the quintessential bedroom that they used to like dream about. Yeah. Like having a bed like yeah, this like and a, a window. Dream. Yeah. I love that. Those. Like, yeah. Very cute. Even those are cute. I also really loved this like back pantry. Um, I really love houses that have that. I think it's a nice way to store everything but not have everything like cluttered in your pantry. It's just another part of the house that you can utilize which I think is so cool to see nowadays and I think we actually overheard someone saying that this house belonged to like a food blogger so I was in love. <laughs> I was very obsessed and I just think she did a great job with her designs. And we're heading down to the basement and the basement again was one of our favorite parts. You can see how much we loved these two bedrooms. Oh my God, look at this bathroom. This is like, this is like a dude sick. This is like, like our boys, part. our boys, yeah. You know what I mean? Sneak the girls in, right? Oh, Literally. <laughs> I know, Sebastian says our boys are gonna sneak some girls down into their bedroom. Or girls sneak boys. Or we don't care. We don't care. <gasps> Cute. To black. I like it. Imagine a black spider. I know, honestly. This is nice. This is it. It's like storage for towels and. That's sick. Oh, it's kind of like a locker room. Oh, this is sick. How's this one? <gasps> Come on, you're gonna have a freaking leather. So sick. They just get your style completely. This is mm, honestly our style. This house is our style. Yeah, this house is our style. And we actually saw a couple houses with these little playhouses, which I think are fun and different. Not really my style, but I think it's a cute idea. In a better way? No, I think in a good way. This is sick. You are a sucker for this. Are you kidding me? This Drinks? Oh my god, this is so mean. I like this. Ooh, it does look comfy and like, and look at this to like eat. To eat. That's my dream. Currently, I want that. I want that. that. Yeah. So I can eat like that. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. That's exactly what I was thinking too. Going outside. And then the outside, again, was such a beautiful space. I really loved all of the seating area that you have down here. Um, and then once you go up, we did kind of think that it was a little bit too crowded for us. We would like to see a little bit more open space, but it was so fun. The pool was great and the slide was a really fun incorporation. And then this was like, off of the pool it's like a little pool house which is again just so stunning for a little pool house House number four, again, was a beautiful home. We started off in this massive office, which Sebastian loved because it had a huge view of the mountains. We are from Utah, we love our mountains. We love seeing them and we envy the houses that have beautiful views of them. Uh, but it wasn't anything that we like walked away from obsessed with. The house was beautiful, had beautiful bedrooms. I love a good <laughs> made bed. It just like inspires me to have 59 million throw pillows. And the bathroom was pretty, again, with the gold accents I really love. I know sometimes they're out of style, but I'm still all for it. And I think they did it really well. And the black tub was something that we loved, again, with the view. They had a really cute like hidden bookshelf door, which you're seeing here, which I thought was cute. And then it just like led into a kid's craft area, which was fun, or like a playroom. But not anything on our radar that we walked away from like, absolutely wanting but there are so many aspects of the house that we did love individually and 
here's a look at the backyard. Again, this one had a lot of open space, but it was just kind of like on a hill, a little bit random. And we're like dreaming up our dream house. And so we wanted a pool, <laughs> um, but the basement was really cool. Again, you can see that house design on the wall for kids, a little gym, which is nice to see. And then they had a really cute and cozy theater room. That last one you guys just saw was not our favorite. It was still a pretty home, but our favorite is still the one before this one. It was stunning. That's my favorite still. Now we're about to go to the one that the guy said was the best one. So, open for that one. That will be my dream one. <laughs> And now we seriously saved the best for last. First off, we had to hike up a freaking hill to get to this house, um, but it is just beautiful. And sometimes with these bigger houses, like house number two, I wasn't sure how I would like be in love with it because if they're too over the top, you feel like you can't imagine yourself living there kind of thing. But I could see myself in this house everywhere. I mean, that's my daughter's bedroom <laughs> and that's my pink bathroom. I mean, everything about this house I loved, which is crazy. I mean, there's like a couple decor things that obviously like I wouldn't do, but like this meditation room, have you ever thought of doing that? I have never ever thought of doing that and I have to do it in my dream home. I thought it was just stunning. This gym was really cool. I liked it the most just because it was like a nice open space. It had cool wall art. Their theater room was so dark and cozy and I was just obsessed with it. I just loved all of the little corners of design and they had a sauna, which I really loved. And just everything about this house was exciting and fun and really well put together. This trampoline room was like really cool. Again, I don't know if I would like use that. I'm not a big trampoline person, but again, I thought it was fun and different. And I think what really sold the deal on this house was my girl, Kristen S. Look at her products sitting on the counter. I am so proud of her and I'm so proud of the designer who put this here <laughs> because I love her stuff. One of my favorite parts was just this open area. I think it's beautiful. I loved like the black marbling running through it. I loved the dining room chairs, like they're so fun. And I could imagine our whole family on this big comfy couch for movie nights. And yeah, the kitchen was just really beautiful and open. And that's what me and Sebastian love. That's our favorite floor plan. And then they had the cutest little puppy shower. Ugh, I thought it was so cute. I mean, it's better than my shower that I have now. And then the master bedroom just sealed the deal. I mean, in a few seconds, you're gonna see the tub of my absolute dreams. And you even with this tub, it is gorgeous. It is such a Kardashian bathroom. I hate to say it, but me and Sebastian kept looking at each other like, what are we looking at? This is the craziest thing ever. And behind that wall is a long black shower. I had to do a little dance in it and it was just glam. Like that's the only way I can describe this house. <laughs> and then the backyard just we need a moment of silence for the backyard we talked about wanting a pool check we talked about wanting to have open space check i mean the backyard was completely seducing me i loved it so much it was just so glamorous and romantic and i couldn't get enough shots of the backyard We're gonna own this house. We're gonna own, give not us, this house, but no. a house. Give us like five years. Like this. Uh, ten years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, five, ten, five, five, ten. Five, ten. <laughs> we are so dead after that house. It was 
stunning. And we were both saying like, some of the houses, like I think the second one, like kind of just with the elevator, it looked like too much like a museum and like, it was really cool but like kind of cold and like this one even though it was like big and outrageous we could so see ourselves there and like oh my god it was like a fun house yeah and even like where they had the trampoline remember that oh yeah and like the graffiti it was kind of cool sick. like i wouldn't do that but it was yeah it made it feel like homey it was so fun so thank you eric and Gigi, for sharing this experience we want to go every single year now we're obsessed and it just makes you want to like continue to work hard so that you can like have a place like that this house this last house that we were at when we were walking up they had like obviously a neighbor and this neighbor like comes home from the day in his like lambo and we're just like looking at him like and he's flexing he was like flexing on all of us but it was just really cool to be like dang it is achievable and people live in these houses and people buy these houses and uh, i'm just dead I kept looking at the houses being like, I'd put a Christmas tree there, I'd put a Christmas tree there. <laughs> like, it was so cute. Um, so now we're finding some dinner. It's like seven, oh my gosh, it's almost eight o'clock. So it's almost eight o'clock. Yeah, we are hungry and ready to find some food. And then I will be sure to catch you guys up tomorrow to close out the vlog. Did you not love that last house? Oh my gosh. I felt like for days I was still thinking about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me and Sebastian for Parade of Homes. I was so happy I was able to film it. Usually around like crowded places and things like that, I get a little bit like nervous and I don't want people to think I'm filming them so I don't put the camera. But I was just like, everyone's filming everything because we're all obsessed here. So I was filming every single angle. So. I was glad I was able to put this vlog together for you guys. Be sure to leave your favorite house down below in the comments and subscribe if you are new and don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.